Hey guys, welcome to a new video. I hope you all had a good Christmas and New Year, depending on when I upload this. If New Year has happened, I hope you had a good New Year. If it hasn't, then I hope you do have a good New Year. So before we get started on today's topic, I just want to say, no swearing in the first minute, please. No swearing! No swearing! And anyone wondering what I'm going on about, basically, for a while, a few of my videos hadn't been going in people's subscription boxes. People were telling me, and someone recommended that I try not swearing in the first minute of my videos, and that might help. Now, it seems a bit weird, but I gave it a go anyway. Um, and the last video, when I did it, it actually appear appeared in people's subscription boxes. So, all right, whatever. It's a bit weird. I don't know why it worked. Maybe it was just a coincidence. I don't know. But, you know, it could be weirder. Like, I could have to, like, sacrifice a goat or drink virgin blood or something. I don't know. Whatever pleases Susan... And if not swearing in the first minute helps, then I'll do it. Fuck. There we go, we're over a minute. Um, yeah, and I know someone said in the last video, Ooh, swearing's not clever. Fuck off. Anyway, um, today's topic is something that I came across on Twitter, like, before Christmas, so I'm late getting to this. You guys might have already seen it, so I apologise if at some, like, I don't know, a million other people have already made a video on this, but... I meant to make a video on it sooner, but I just couldn't be fucked, I'm not going to lie. Uh, but here we are now. So we're going to take a look at a TikTok, yes, a fucking TikTok. And uh, yeah, we're going to discuss, so let's take a look. So this TikTok influencer's son, little baby son... Uh, was sort of diagnosed with RSV, has trouble breathing on his own, and she thought to herself, hmm, I know what I'll do with this. I'll film a TikTok. Her son is like in a life-threatening situation, and as a parent, her brain didn't go, oh my god, I'm so worried about my son, I can't think clearly, I can't think of anything else. It was like, fucking hell, how many likes or whatever the fuck they have on TikTok. How many views can this get me? This is gold. This is a gold mine. Now, I want to look at these captions that she's put on this TikTok. So, it all starts, someone's asked the question, sending prayers, but what happened? I'm so confused. Then she says, little Lee was taken in because of low oxygen. He tested positive for RSV, waiting for him to breathe better on his own. All with a smiley face and loads of fucking dancing. Yeah, you've got to bust a move if you want to beat this breathing difficulty. Or if the baby can't breathe on his own after these crazy moves, I don't know what will help. Maybe the doctor recommended it. Oh, doc, what could help my son breathe better? Bust a move. Bust a move. I know that you're a TikTok influencer. But at the same time, you're a fucking parent. I don't get it. I'm not a parent myself. I imagine that if I had a son that was having trouble breathing in the hospital... I wouldn't be thinking, oh, this would be good to put on fucking social media. I'd be thinking, Jesus Christ, I hope my son's okay. Is there anything I can do? Oh, my God, my son. Not, oh, yeah, the clout would be insane. I don't fucking understand why, and I've said this before, can you not be a parent first and a shitty influencer content creator second? People like this, like, oh, I don't know. How does your mind even go there? Oh, this will be good. I don't... It's like the fucking bitch that we talked about a few months back. The one that um, was caught where she didn't edit a video properly and she was trying to get her son to cry over a sick puppy. Crying for the camera. Cry for the camera. Come here. Come closer for the video. Come closer. Come closer. Come closer. Put your head, put your head right here. Come closer. Come closer. Down. Put your head down here. Act like you're crying. Really I am crying. Go like this. No, mom. I'm not just using crying. No, I know. But go like this. For the video. What the fuck, man? How are you having fucking kids? Why? These people shouldn't be having kids. Anyway, of course, this got backlash. Big shock. And um, she was surprised by this because, me just trying to do good things. Duh. Oh, I don't know what kind of world we live in. Um, and she made a apology video where she was crying. So let's just have a quick look at this. I understand people are upset with the video that I made. I just want to be clear and communicate that that was me just trying to be positive. Okay, so she wants to communicate that this is her trying to be positive. You, like, fucking 
willingly took a camera, put it on yourself, and made sure that your son, who's in like some sort of, I don't know what, oxygen tank or whatever, was in shot. And then you did a dance. And this is positive. How? I don't... Oh, I, I don't understand. And what makes me fucking laugh, or makes me sick, I should say, is the fact that here you are crying on a TikTok about, oh, I've got bad comments. I can't believe the backlash. I'm so upset. You're more upset in this fucking TikTok about the negativity that you received on this TikTok that you originally posted that you thought was going to get you such good clout. You're more upset about that failing than you were about your son. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm sure, you know, you. I'm not saying you're not upset at all about your son but the fact is you you actually thought that this was a good idea and i don't get how a parent's mind can even go there how someone fucking explain this to me so someone asked you this question of what's going on why didn't you post a video similar to this one like of you crying or whatever going hey guys this is what's going on with my son oh my god please pray for us or whatever the fuck you want to say rather than go right this person needs an answer Get on the dancing shoes. Let's fucking bust them in. What? Why does this need to happen? And they didn't go, Oh, can you tell us what's going on? But can you do it with some style? Maybe some sweet moves? Like, just fucking say something. Or don't. It's no one's business. Like, fucking have you got stuff going on in your life? Why have you got to share it on fucking social media? Like, why does it matter? It's your business. But fucking hell, yeah. Heaven forbid something happen and you don't talk about it. Oh, miss out on views. But, yeah. You're more upset about the fact that you're getting backlash for your original TikTok than you are for the situation with your son, it seems. I think it's important to, to just not just assume what someone's going through. Anyways, I took the video down because I could see, you know, where somebody could get the wrong idea. But that honestly was just me just trying to be positive in this situation. But... I do want to say thank you for people who have reached out to me and my family, and I just really appreciate it. Don't just assume what people are going through. I'm sorry, but you've got your son, like, in this horrible situation, and you're filming him for TikTok, and you're dancing. What do you mean, don't just assume? This does look bad. Oh, it was just me trying to be positive. Don't just assume. Like, what... How does your brain fucking work? But you took the video down because you could see how someone would get the wrong idea. Pity you couldn't see that before you uploaded this to TikTok. Really, like, your pa you're failing as a parent and your parents clearly failed as you that you thought that this was okay. But hey-ho, there you go. What, you know, this is... You're not the first person to do something like TikTok and you sure as shit won't be doing the last. I've seen shit where... Uh, like some girls like at a dad's funeral like posting shit on TikTok like what the fuck man and it's so like I'm not buying this this is bullshit you're upset because you got like basically exposed people got pissed at you for this you are more upset about the fact that people weren't going sick moves man <laughs> or something like that than you are about the situation like yeah being positive on it like fuck off that's absolutely ridiculous and on a, on a like a side note like obviously I hope that the kid gets better and everything goes well but um yeah maybe just like fucking if this is the kind of person you are maybe you should delete tiktok and social media because i think it disagrees with you and maybe you should just focus on being a parent before being a shitty influencer but that's you know that's just my opinion there you go anyway guys um thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video let me know your thoughts in the comments and i will see you in the next one cheers guys